Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you. I have had no sleep in about two days. Just a lot of amazing things happening, gaming wise, movie wise. It's just, it's been insane. It's been insane. I am not alone today. Yep. I am joined here with. Hello, John. John. It's like Hello Kitty, but John. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Hello, John. Hi. Like Hello Kitty. That's nice. Right, exactly. It's sexy. And you, he owns a game, a retro store. I own a we've game, been, too, actually. We've been friends for we've been friends for a while. Years. Yeah. And you're one, uh, one of the big reasons that I'm into retro collecting again. Mm. I don't know if you know that. Uh, that's an honor. When I moved from, uh, from Mexico to the United States, <clears throat> you're one of the first people I met. Yes. And uh, you were, I, I went into your retro store. There's another guy named Dustin who's also a big part of me getting into retro gaming again. And I was a gamer for years, for years. And I was always a gamer, but I was the guy who would trade his games in. I know, it's horrible. Been there. It's, it's, you've been there, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so, but... You, you, talking with you, and then my wife bought me Zelda for the N64 at a garage sale, and she opened up a whole can of worms, and, I, and I've been off ever since then, Yeah. right? <laughs> so, that being said, Just going. there was a system. Now, I played the Atari. Yeah. I played the Atari. That was cool. Some that combat, was cool. some Frogger, your little it, right? muddy joystick with your one button. But yeah. there was one system that sealed the deal, and that's what we're going to talk about today. That is correct. That is the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I thought it'd be fun since I have you here, to share the, our experience. The first time we ever saw or seen, I don't know how it is in English. Yeah. I'm really bad You know, that. there's lots of words. <laughs> Ashley's yeah. been trying to teach me for years, Witnessed. I think. Sure. Uh, she gave up. She says, <laughs> uh, well, the first time we ever seen <clears throat> the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm going to do one thing and I'm going to say, because it was the Nintendo, I like to call it an ocular caress. All right. That's how good it felt. Yeah? Yeah. So tell me your yeah. experience. What was the first time you ever seen it active? You played it. You put the controller in your hand. Tell me about it. So it was probably 85, 86. I mean, we're going to go. Uh, I don't remember the exact time frame, but right around the launch of the North American system, I was in Sears with my mom. None of my friends had this. Nobody that I knew had this because it was just, it was so new. And we had the opportunity to... Uh, Check out the electronics section because as a kid, you know, that's where I wanted to go because there were toys in there and there were fun things. And up on this little screen with a little red logo, a black display, they had the system called the Nintendo Entertainment System. And that's what we knew it as, the NES Nintendo yeah. Entertainment System, not just Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System. And I walked up to it and I saw Zelda was being played on Legend of Zelda. And as the very first game that I saw, I remember just being like, there, there's, it's, we, we had Atari. And there's, yeah. there's not much to it, but playing the Nintendo, you have this, this D-pad, the cross-pad, and you have two separate buttons, and they both have different functionality, and it was just, it was it was bigger and better, and it was it looked good. I mean, you know, there, there was music playing, and Atari was so rudimentary, and not to knock that thing, but the step up was so exponential that you couldn't help but almost feel like your stomach dropped because you'd never seen anything quite like, like that. it looks so real. It was, yeah, that was the best of the graphics, best. graphics, man. Yeah, I was there. I was in Hyrule collecting fairies and getting shot to death by Moblins. It was incredible. And then you had to have it. I had to have it. Did you get it? I didn't get it right away. I actually went to other friends' houses and was accused of coming over only to play their Nintendos for a while, which is not inaccurate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, know, dude, I, so I won't lie. But, um, no, it was, a, it was a couple years later. By the time Mario 2 had come out was okay. when we finally got our, our uh, the bundle with the Power Pad and Duck Hunt and a copy of Mario 2, and that was that was it. And to think now you own a retro game store. Correct. That's how like it, how much it affected your life. Well, what's amazing is we had a customer in today, and he was talking about it and how much he loved Nintendo, and I said, you know, if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I'd be doing right. something else. This would not exist. Maybe somebody else has got their own thing going on, but what I had... With Gamers Anonymous, it just wouldn't be there because that's what brought me in. That's everything. That's what started all of this for me. You know what's crazy is I was bullied like a lot as a kid. I was a nerd. I wasn't the hunk of man you see here today. <laughs> oh, no. kids. Okay? Yeah. And like Nintendo, man, saved me a lot of times, man. Yeah. Like yeah. if I didn't have that Nintendo in my life, man, I don't know what I would do. I would probably have killed myself. And that's I'm not exaggerating. That's how 
depressed I was that mm -hmm. I didn't have any friends or that I was, you know. But my Nintendo experience, first time, is really crazy. Okay, yes, oh, I'm excited. And I'm so, excited. The, here's the thing. Me and my friend, I got one friend. That's it. His name's Tony. I got one friend. Tony. And he would come over and we would play Atari. You know, Pitfall, Tank, Space Invaders. But that was getting, it was getting tired. Sure. Like, it was getting really tired. One day, he's supposed to come over, we're supposed, he's supposed to play. He comes over, he says, come on, you gotta come over. I'm like, what? He's like, I can't even, I can't even explain what I'm, what I've seen. Just have to come over. So, we live in an apartment complex. And he lives on the third story. And on the second story, there's this Japanese family. And he says, come on, man. And this kid's like, there's a kid. He's a little kid. And way younger than us. And we, I walk into this house and I see Mario, right? I don't know what Mario is, yeah, of course. Brand new. But I see him and I see him jumping and I see this and it's blowing my mind. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I look at the machine. Well, it's a, it's a Famicom, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not out yet. In America, he's from Japan. You he's got, got the this jump, man. Toy, yeah. And so we would go over and we'd play it. And I would go to school and I would try to explain, the best I could, to people what I was experiencing. Everyone, I just got beat up more because everyone thought I was a liar. Yeah. And for a <laughs> whole year, guys, I think it was maybe even more. It didn't come out till till America. Wild. Yeah, a couple of years. And then one day I walk into the store and there it is. There's that game that I played. And I only played it a couple times, probably like five times with that kid. Mm -hmm. And then eventually his mom was like, like you said, you're yeah, just too probably coming over to play, <laughs> play this thing. Yeah. So, oh man, man, I didn't get it right away. I feel like I did get it a lot sooner than you because uh, Mario 2 wasn't out yet. Okay. Um, Contra was big, mm -hmm. Mike Tyson's punch out. And I'll tell you what. Nintendo, I know this sounds crazy, but Nintendo, I don't know what I would be doing with my life right now if it wasn't for Nintendo. You yeah, know? Like, absolutely. Being being bullied and all this and that, to have that to come home to. Mm -hmm. It was oh, your safe man. place, man. Oh, yep. yeah. I know that. For sure. Yeah. And, you know, and back in those days, you didn't tell people you played video games because then you got beat up even more. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you just like, it's, it wasn't like it is now. It was this crazy subculture. I mean, because like if you were in on the Nintendo, you were part of something that was very underground with the Nintendo Power magazine mm -hmm. or the, the Fun Club newsletter. And it was very exclusive. And, you, yeah, you kind of didn't want people knowing unless they were your friend. Cause, right. And yeah. then through N and Nintendo's, I actually found a couple of people who also played video games, and that was our connection. Yep. And uh, and I started to make friends that way. So absolutely. Anyway, man, thanks for sharing that story Dude, here. You know? We just wanted to share that experience because Nintendo is so. Oh my gosh, I can't even. They're explain. It's paramount to system. what my interest is. I yeah. mean, you know, I love it all because of them. I love Sony, I love Microsoft, but it started one place in particular. Oh, yeah. And that's where it was. That's it. It's my so, experience. What's your guys' experience with the Nintendo? Tell, tell me your story. I know in the comment section, I'll read, I'll read everything. You tell all of it. You want to write me yep. a 20-page story, I'll read it. I promise. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't Absolutely. forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, sorry about my voice. I haven't slept in a couple of days, but I do this because I love you guys, and I love hanging out with friends, and I love just being... Just video games, just man. Video games. That's, that's what it is. So thank you guys. We'll see ya.